your video and uh, how you are in your classroom, I'll say that I do like I do like I like the assignment itself. Uh, you know, asking the kids do they think they should eat in the classroom, and then having the two opinions there where they can uh, discuss it. I thought, um, what great what grade level is it again? It's fifth grade. Okay, so I think that's pretty cool with the fifth graders because in you know as they get older, you know in high school, you know we can allow our kids to eat in the classroom. That's all based on the teacher, but I think that's a good uh, a good assignment where the kids can start thinking about um, whether eating in the classroom can benefit them or hinder them. And I think one of your students said. Well, it's more distracting if you eat in class and they now now I'm focusing on eating versus focusing on the teacher. But then one of the students said, "Well, kids go hungry and they have to eat." So I thought that was a a good real life real life a, a question and activity where the kids can work on and you know they they had some really good responses. I thought that was pretty neat. One negative I would say would be, uh, like. Probably scan the classroom with with your eyes because there there was one kid he it looked like he had his hand raised the whole time and I was like oh, come on I know she's gonna see him but you know you never really got to him and then um and then maybe like move around a little bit more I say I thought the classroom was set up perfect for the uh, small group or the peer peer uh, review where they were working together I think it was great for that but I think. Like when you were doing a lesson, like the kid who had his hand raised, his back was kind of turned a little bit to you. So you may, I don't know if you have kids that had their back turned to you. So they really they have to turn all the way around their seat or move their seat to see you. But I, I liked, like so much of this lesson, well, basically all of it. Like I think you're a very friendly and engaging presence, like in the classroom. And I've seen like other, there was another video of you that I watched a little bit of. And I think, um, calm and friendly demeanor about you yeah. interesting to listen to as well because you kind of you move a lot so I know you said you couldn't move much in this room but you know <laughs> you know and you've got hands and you vary your tone of voice so I think you're just a very you're the kind of person that I would like to have as a teacher in terms of like your your vibe I guess I did feel like your students, you know, were fantastic students. They, <laughs> you know, they were really engaged in the lesson, really well behaved. <laughs> um, I felt like they were slightly shy at the beginning, maybe because they weren't. Yeah, it was really noticeable that how your lesson really, you know, hooked them in. They clearly found it very interesting. A couple of things I noticed is um, the, the younger man... I, I don't know if he's like your brother or a cousin. He is. Or... He's my big head brother. <laughs> <laughs> Spoke a lot more in the discussions. Mm -hmm. And um thing I thought you could maybe do, because I noticed the older man, I don't know if that's maybe your dad. Mm -hmm. He wasn't speaking so much, so I wasn't sure at the beginning if he was really getting it. Um, one piece of feedback is just to make sure that you're one of the quieter students and just doing it as well. And I think as teachers, we're all very guilty of that. I'm like, you know, all my best students have their hands up all the right. time. Bigger groups, something like I think pair share, because there was a lot of discussion mm -hmm. on steps. And I think, think I think pair share, a larger group, because then if you have um, maybe some students who are struggling a bit with an objective, one before they